Did you know that you can simply tag and link your products from Shopify on your Facebook business page? This feature allows your customers to quickly find your products on Facebook and then to purchase those products directly through your Shopify store. Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome back to another brief tutorial. Today I'm going to walk you through the simple step-by-step -step process of connecting your Shopify store with your Facebook business shop so that you can start selling products through your Facebook business page. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into the Shopify and Facebook shop tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out the way, let's go ahead and connect your Shopify store with your Facebook shop. Okay, so to connect your Shopify store with your Facebook shop so that you can link the two together and sell your products through your Facebook business page, there are a few things that we need before we can start this process. The first is we need a Facebook business page. Now, if you currently do not have a Facebook business page, what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the process of setting up and creating a Facebook business page. Now, you also have to connect your Facebook business page with a business manager. Again, if you're not too sure how to do this, I will link a resource down below that will take you through the process of understanding how the business manager works and how you can connect your business page to your business manager. This will also show you how to add or create a new Facebook ad account, which is also something you need to do. And finally, you need a Facebook pixel connected. Again, if you're not too sure where to get started when it comes to creating a Facebook pixel and installing that on your Shopify store, what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial that you can go through to help you set up your Facebook pixel. Okay, so once you've ticked off those four tasks, what we want to do now is log into the back end of our Shopify store. And to connect our Shopify store with our Facebook shop, we need to navigate over to Sales Channel. Now, below Online Store, you might already have Facebook connected. If you don't have Facebook connected, then simply navigate up to this plus icon here. Then navigate down and locate Facebook. Bring your products to people on Facebook and Instagram. Go ahead and click this plus icon. Then simply navigate up to update sales channel. Then simply navigate down the page and locate start setup under Facebook shop. Go ahead and click start setup. And the first thing we need to do is connect our Facebook account with our Shopify store. Go ahead and continue with your personal account that's associated with your Facebook business page. Come down and click allow. And as you can see, that's going to connect our Facebook account. Now what we need to do is connect a business manager. So go ahead and connect the business manager that's associated with your business page. Remember, you need to connect your Facebook business page with your business manager. Go ahead and select the appropriate business manager that's connected to your Facebook business page. Then go ahead and verify your primary domain. If you haven't done so already, we're going to go ahead and select our primary domain for our Shopify store and then click confirm. Then once you've verified your primary Shopify domain, simply navigate down to Facebook page. This is where you want to connect your Facebook business page to your Shopify store. So go ahead and locate your Facebook business page that you want to connect with your Shopify store. This is our business page. We're going to go ahead and click connect. Now, if you're struggling to connect your Facebook business page, that's because your Facebook business page is associated with a different business manager. So you want to make sure that you have the correct business manager here that's associated with the Facebook business page. You can also remove a Facebook business page from an existing business manager and then reconnect that business page to a different business manager. And you can also verify your Shopify domain with one business manager. 
Okay, now down under data sharing, what we wanna do is turn this on and then navigate down. And we wanna make sure that enhanced is selected. Then simply navigate down the page and then go ahead and connect the right Facebook pixel that's associated with your ad account. If you currently have not created a Facebook pixel, then you can go ahead and simply create a new pixel. We're gonna go ahead and connect this Facebook pixel that we created earlier. And then finally, what we need to do is create a Facebook e-commerce account. Go ahead and click create new. Okay, now before we go ahead and click accept terms and finish setup, if we navigate back up to Facebook commerce account and click here, you can see that your Shopify commerce account products within this account will be synced to this category, Shopify product category. And here is the ID down here. Now to simply customize your shop and collections, you need to head over to the Facebook Commerce Manager and we'll do that shortly. So simply come down, click accept terms, navigate over to accept terms, and then head over to finish setup. And just like that, you're ready to use Facebook Shop. Congratulations, you have completed the setup of connecting Shopify with your Facebook Shop. And now what we wanna do is check that all our products are synced correctly with our Facebook shop. So go ahead and click got it, then navigate down. And over here you can see connected product catalog. If we click here and over here you can see your Shopify's product catalog is synced with this ID. Now it's important to note that product changes may take up to 15 minutes to sync to Facebook. And at the moment, because this Shopify account is just a test account, we currently only have one product. Now, if we navigate over to view all products, you can see that we have one product within our Shopify store that is connected and available to Facebook. Now, we only have one product because this is just an example. However, most likely you'll have multiple products and you just wanna make sure that they're available on Facebook over here. Okay, now if we navigate back over to our sales channel, Facebook, over on the left-hand side, then simply navigate down the page and locate Facebook Shop again, then come down and click Customize Shop. This is going to allow us to create collections and customize our Facebook Shop. And here we have our Facebook Shop. Now, if you navigate up to Status, you'll notice that our status is inactive. It can take some time before your items in your shop are reviewed and approved so they appear in your Facebook shop. Now, if we navigate over to Edit Shop, and this is where you can customize your products the way that they show. You can also add and manage collections and more for your Facebook shop. Then when you've made any changes, simply navigate down the page and click Publish Updates. And once your Facebook shop is approved, you can tag your products on your Facebook business page and your customers can also view the shop tab, which will display all your collections and products on your Facebook business page. However, that is everything you need to know to connect your Shopify store to your Facebook shop. And that is it guys for this brief Shopify and Facebook shop tutorial for beginners, helping you connect your Facebook business page and Shopify together to sell your products on Facebook. Now, if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.